Understanding Dysenergic Defecation Dysenergic defecation is one cause of constipation. When you have a bowel movement, the muscles of your rectum must squeeze to push it out. At the same time, the muscles of your anus, just below the rectum, need to relax to let the bowel movement out. In dysenergic defecation, these two sets of muscles are not working together. The rectal muscles may squeeze, but the anal muscles do not relax. Or the anal muscles relax, but the rectal muscles do not push enough. The symptoms of dysenergic defecation include taking a long time to have a bowel movement, going often but feeling like you never completely empty your bowels, having hard bowel movements, or feeling like you need to use your fingers to assist with bowel movements. Dysenergic defecation can be caused by childbirth, surgery, injury, and other problems. Whatever the original cause, dysenergic defecation develops when the muscles and nerves of your anus, rectum, and abdomen are not coordinated. Dysenergic defecation is not life-threatening, but it can be uncomfortable. Three to six of every 10 people with constipation have dysenergic defecation. If you don't know you have it, you may spend a lot of money on medication and treatment to try to help your constipation. Healthcare providers diagnose dysenergic defecation by asking about your symptoms and bowel movement habits and examining your anus and rectum. Your provider may also ask about your health and medical history, including any injuries or surgery. You may also have a test called manometry to diagnose dysenergic defecation. This test uses a pencil-sized probe in the anus and rectum. The probe measures the pushing force of your rectal muscles and the ability of your anal muscles to relax. A test called the balloon expulsion test uses a small, water-filled balloon placed in your rectum. You use a timer to measure how long it takes to push the balloon out. In a test called defecography, a technician puts some paste in your rectum and you sit on a toilet seat to push it out. X-rays or other imaging tests are taken while you do this to show how your body is working. Finally, you might do a marker test to measure if food is moving through your digestive system at a normal speed. You swallow a capsule containing tiny markers that come out in your bowel movements. Later, you have an x-ray to see how many markers are still inside you. The more you have, the slower your digestive system is working. Many people with dysenergic defecation have a slow digestive system. If standard treatments for constipation, such as exercise and laxatives, do not work, you may benefit from a type of physical therapy called biofeedback. Biofeedback helps you learn to coordinate your rectal and anal muscles to have normal bowel movements. Studies show it is very effective at treating dysenergic defecation. Biofeedback uses a small probe that picks up muscle activity. When muscles contract and relax, you hear a sound or see the muscle effort on a screen you can watch. With several biofeedback sessions, you learn how to recognize which muscles are squeezing and relaxing and how to coordinate them. Most people need about six one-hour sessions of biofeedback for their dysenergic defecation to improve. This may include some practice at home. You might see your physical therapist again later to check your progress. Other treatments for dysenergic defecation include surgery and Botox injections to relax the anal muscles, especially for children. However, since children may need to learn better bowel movement habits, biofeedback is often the best option for them. If you think dysenergic defecation might be causing your constipation, ask your healthcare provider about it. You might also want to ask if biofeedback is available in your area. Asking questions and sharing what you have learned is the best way to get the treatment you need.